Hey guys, it's Troy here, sitting here in my office and wanted to talk to you about another pen. Or two. You know, Navalar, or Narwhal. Now, uh, I'm told it's pronounced the same way, even though the company changed their name. Get a bag here from Navalar, or Narwhal if you prefer. I prefer Narwhal. Why? Because that's what I've known them as ever since they came out. Several years ago at the DC Pen Show they really debuted some of their wares and this is one of those pens. It is the original as they call it. And this is the Merman edition. We actually have another one here in the household that's purple that belongs to my wife. Uh, but you know I was really happy with their original pen and you know a decent price point 40 or 50 bucks depending upon from where you buy it. A uh, piston filler and I gotta be honest with you this one here though I'm not a big fan of fine nibs they only came in fine at the time. Several years later this thing is still inked up because it had a really good ink capacity with what it had and it has not dropped up. So I've only filled this one time and it still writes and writes well. So I knew that I was going to get probably a good quality product from Narwhal. Well, fast forward a little bit, several pen shows later, meeting up with the guys at Narwhal at the Raleigh Pen Show, the DC Pen Show, good communications with them, looking at their product line evolve a little bit. I said, you know, I'm going to keep my eye on Narwhal because they are up and coming. In addition to that, talking with uh, some friends of mine in the pen world um, who are going to be responsible for some of what's in this bag, mind you, I knew that they were going to be entering into some agreements with other companies, uh, specifically Starry Night Resins. Uh, and I tend to like and am friends with the folks over at Starry Night Resins. So I knew that I was going to be looking at a fairly decent pen from Narwhal. Okay, DC Pen Show 2022, just what, a month or, well, over a month ago. And I was there with my family and I showed in my uh, pen haul video that we did from the DC Pen Show, I showed you this bag and I showed you some of what was in the bag. My son Matthew got one of their pens. He got a decent deal, I thought, on the, the Skull Kill or Sky Kill. I'm, I'm still stumbling with that name uh, because of its spelling. Uh, but also, I saw on sale a product launch. Well, I can't really say on sale, but it was put out there for sale from Navalar. Let me stop right there. The name Navalar, all right? I'm still struggling with it because I keep wanting to call them Narwhal. Now, I'm told they had to change their name uh, because they were told that they couldn't trademark the name of an animal. And all I can think of is like Jaguar Motors. Okay, but you can't do it for Narwhal pens. Okay. So, you know, um, they changed the name into the, the Nordic word for um, Nordic word, I'm told, for a narwhal. I've actually seen a narwhal up close and personal at an aquarium. I mean, I wasn't exactly swimming in the ocean, uh, but I have seen a real narwhal. So, you know, I thought it was kind of neat that they were coming out with, you know, narwhal pens, and that's what they wanted to, to call their pen stuff. So, but they said that they're still pronouncing it narwhal. Hmm. So let me try that. Um, Navalar. My name's Troy. So, I'm going to change my name to Travelar. Yeah, Traveler. Ah, but I'm still going to pronounce it Troy. Does it really work? No. Navalar, Narwhal, whatever. You guys are still always going to be Narwhal to me. Although I'll try to pronounce it once in a while, Navalar, like I should. And if you look at their websites right down here at the bottom, you can have them both. All right, so at the DC Pen Show, the Nautilus uh, was a really cool looking pen in my humble yet most accurate opinion that was being offered. So I went ahead and picked one up. It came in a box just like this, which is uh, on their newer models, the interior box. I'll show you that here in a minute. I had originally planned on doing this pen video with just this pen. I like this pen. I thought it was unique looking, I thought it was really attractive, I liked the material, I liked the nib on it, and I planned on, and I got a list of videos to do, and this was one of them, and I planned on doing it on just this pen. Well, come to find out, another one. I can't say I got suckered into it, but 
Uh, Starry Night Resins, my friend Elise over at Starry Night Resins. Uh, Elise is an up-and-coming, making her way big time in the pen world, um, designer for acrylics. And, uh, you know, she is the better half of Jim Hines uh, for them as a couple. And she's been very helpful with uh, Jim's business and has brought helped bring and bring some of his stuff to the next level where she's gotten really good, really consistent at pouring and creating her resins. And she's gotten a lot of attention uh, by various third-party companies who want her to do their resins. I could name off a few of them. Some of which, you know, Lucky Stars pins. Uh, it, she did some of stuff for them. She has done some stuff for Drum Ghouls. She has done some stuff for Jim, obviously, and helped up his game a little bit in his offerings. And Narwhal. Now, I knew ahead of time, and I had to keep my mouth shut an awful lot about the up-and-coming stuff that they were going to do for Narwhal, but I had no idea that this is the one that they were going to offer until I saw it for sale and I said, doggone it, I knew that they were going to do some resins for Narwhal. They didn't even tell me it was going to be for the Nautilus. Uh, Year of the Tiger, um, according to the Chinese Zodiac calendar and their special edition and I'll show you that here it's the same model just done in the resin from Starry Night Resins which by the way is right beautiful um, I didn't need a second pen I didn't need a second Nautilus I really didn't but when my friend is pouring the resins for them in a big time deal on a limited edition only 222 created by an up and coming pen company with some fanfare for Narwhal, I went ahead and snatched that one up too. So, let's go ahead and show you these particular pens and show you what I like about them so you can consider them as well. So, when I went up to the table uh, for the Narwhal table at the DC Pen Show, uh, we saw it, looked over their collection, and this was the, the new pen that they were offering or were launching there at the show. And they did have a, a launch event I was not able to attend because they were having it at the same time as people were coming into the pen show, standing in line, and then I, my understanding is they changed it at the last minute to an hour later, and I could have made it, but I didn't even know that they had changed the time. So, anyway, Navalar Nautilus. This is actually the Nautilus Stilophora. Uh, so, open it up, and you've got the, the card with their name on it. And a little bit of information tells you that, oh look, it's a piston filler. Uh, you dip the nib in and you twist the piston. So, warranty information, they didn't include that there. One of the things um, about buying it directly from the guys at the pen show is they didn't accept cash. Everything was credit card only because their system uh, was set up to only be able to handle credit card transactions for some reason, which was a little bit different. So, uh, my son Matthew had cash for his pen. Uh, actually, he had enough to for both of our pens, really. Um, but so what I did was I said, all right, give me the cash. I'll whip out a card. I'll pay for it on my card. And I paid for them both. Now, this is what really caught my eye. The Nautilus. That's about all that comes in this box. All right, so get that out of the way. And let's go ahead and talk about the Nautilus. This particular pen, gorgeous gorgeous pen all right this is the berry the color is berry they had several different colors that were available um, but I liked this particular one it's actually uh, I don't know how well you can see it under this camera um, but it's like a deep 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 purple and uh, it is made of ebonite so when they told me, hey, uh, these are all ebonite, German ebonite, I said, cool, you definitely have my attention. And I saw the, the portholes here, the portals, that are essentially ink windows with a piston filler. I said, you definitely have my attention. And the price point was about $160 for the retail on it. And I said, okay, you've got my attention again. So I like the trim on it. I like this kind of a, a rose gold looking trim. See if I can get up, show you a little bit better. I know I've got some better close-up pictures of what that trim looks like on that uh, cat band. It's basically a plain clip, a little bit of uh, gold trim here, and you get a nice rounded. You know, it's a cigar shape, 
which I like. The cigar shape is a, a, a very classic, a very classy style as well. So it definitely had my attention because it was a good size, a decent weight, it's ebonite, and it's a piston filler. So I said, you guys have really done a good job with this. Let's go ahead and get me one. Unscrew it, open it up, and you've got a stainless steel nib here. I've got some closer up pictures of that as well. A nice section. Fits great in my hand. I have been really happy with this pen so far. I went ahead and ordered, uh, got this one um, in a broad nib. They swapped out the nib for me right then and there and put in a broad uh, because I knew that their nibs, um, based upon my experiences so far playing with them, uh, we're, we're going to run a little bit on the narrow side and I've been quite happy actually with this particular broad nib. So there you go. The Nautilus Stilografa, no, Stilophora, Stilophora, S-T-Y-L-O-P-H-O-R-A. A Nautilus, nonetheless. So, fast forward a little bit till just recently, before I could even record this video, and they come out with Navalar, You're the Tiger. I almost uh, expect some Katy Perry music. Uh, or maybe you know some stuff from Rocky Three. <sighs> so I saw this. I said I really don't need another one. I really don't. But I'm going to support my friend Elise, who I understand, by the way, is really attracted to like big guys with bald heads. And uh, but I'm not single, alas. So Elise, you're sorry. You're stuck with Jim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we get along well, so I'm joking. I get along well with Jim and Elise both. So uh, Anyway, so this is the box. And my understanding is this was an exclusive through Gold Spot pens. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was through Gold Spot only. And the, um, the bottom price point on this was $195 compared to like the $160 or $165 that I paid for uh, the Ebonite version at the pen show at the time. So very identical shaped box as you can tell obviously this one decked out for the year of the tiger to be tiger striped open her up and you got the exact same card that you saw in the other box and you can tell i've been flipping this box around and here it is this is the elite the elise made the uh starry night resins made uh resin for the Navaler, the, <laughs> the Nautilus, uh, and uh, they, they made this to be their Year of the Tiger edition. So you can see it's got that, you know, the orange and the, and the yellowish and the, and the black and all in there for to resemble some of the, you know, tiger colorings. And um, I put in uh, a, a, an ink you can probably see through that ink window. It's going to be just a little bit different. You got the exact same... Uh, inscriptions here on that cap band as you did on the other obviously in a different color to match the uh, the pen and then you look here and I have pen number 135 out of 222 this special edition they were only going to have 222 uh, pieces and I got number 135 I ordered this also with a broad nib and you can see this one is black one of the things I like about uh, Navalar or Nautilus is they make all their own nibs. So uh, none of their nibs are going to be, you know, Bach or Yovo purchased uh, that way. But my understanding is they actually produce all of their own nibs. And I have not used so far um, a Nautilus or an original or Heck, in general, uh, a narwhal nib that I've said, boy, that sucks. No, I actually have <laughs> every single one of them I have used has been actually pretty doggone good in terms of reliability and performance. So um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will go ahead and give you some statistics on the, the Nautilus. And we will go ahead and play with it a little bit and show you how they perform. And I'll try to write with both of them so you can you can see um, on, on each of these as well as see the inks that I used.
right, sitting here side by side, you can see that they are the exact same model of pen. The only difference, obviously, is the material, ebonite versus acrylic, the color of the trim, the color of the material itself, the color of the nib, uh, but essentially the exact same thing. Um, I am really enjoying those. Is, there's three of them. One, two, and three. Three different little ink windows. I thought that was a really ingenious ink window setup. Uh, it, it makes you think of a ship. It makes you think of a, a portal on a ship. Um, and I just thought putting three of them rather than just one was a great way of showing off the pen as well as the inks as well. This particular ink is one that I picked up at the DC show and I inked it up while I was there. I'm not going to show you the piston action, but I did record a video of the piston action on this one before I filled it up. I'll show you that as well. So let's go ahead and pick it up. Let's try to write with these babies. Let's go ahead and open it up. And do you want to post it? Too bad. It's not postable. This is not going to fit inside of there, which is fine. I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't want to post this particular pen. I've been quite happy with it. Unpost it. So I will set that aside. So let's go ahead and put nib to paper. This is a broad nib, like I said, but this is the narwhal slash navalor. There you go. Uh, but this particular pen is the Nautilus. The Stylophora. I don't even know why they even stuck that word on there, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, I don't think there was really a need to. But a Nautilus is the model that I'm going to call it. This particular one has a broad nib. And I put into this particular pen, KWZ Grapefruit. It doesn't really match the color of the pen. This berry, I thought, like I said, it was a beautiful color. They had some other really cool colors as well, but this berry color is the one that really stood out to me that I wanted to have. Uh, it doesn't match the color of the pen itself. Um, and I like to do that, by the way. I often match up the ink to the ink color to the pen color. Uh, but this particular one happens to be a bottle that I picked up that someone was selling off um, Thursday when I was there at the DC show walking around. And this particular ink was actually on my wish list. It'd be, it would help if I would just... There we go. This was on my wish list right there. So I went ahead and uh, picked it up for like 7 bucks. It's about half the price. And yeah, there was a little bit of ink gone, but I mean, eh, it's what I wanted. So... They did a really good job on their nibs. You know, I have never used a nib from Narwhal that I've hated. Matter of fact, since it's still sitting here on my desk, I'll pull out the original model, you know, their first that they ever came out with. And, you know, they've got their nice little Narwhal logo on that nib. But this one here, that's been sitting around for a while. just laying in my drawer for several weeks, pull it out, and I can still write with it just fine. Um, not my favorite, but it was still acceptable, and I still use it, actually, fairly regularly. So let's go to uh, my friend Elise's Year of the Tiger. So this also is the Narwhal Nautilus. This is the Year of the Tiger. Limited edition. I do like the performance of the broad nib. The broad nib actually writes, you know, between medium and broad, so it's not as broad as I'm used to. Um, I've got some medium nibs that actually write very much like that but like the last one still fairly smooth and pretty decent performance so I put into this like I was telling you earlier 
Noodlers Operation Overlord Orange. Not a real big fan of this ink, um, but I thought it would pair well. Of I've got several oranges here in in my collection, and I went through the the, the cards, uh, the ink swatches, and I said, here's one that I haven't really found much use for yet. Uh, so I figured let's go ahead and give it a try. It doesn't do too bad when coming close to the color of this particular pen. I said, so let's give it a shot. But I gotta be honest, eh, not a big fan of that particular orange, I do not think. Um, you know, that's not saying I'm not a fan of Noodlers. I actually love a lot of Noodlers products, but yeah, this particular orange, eh. The KWZ Grapefruit, ah, I rather like it. You know, it's a much darker, you know, more like a ruby red uh, grapefruit here. So anyway, I didn't plan, like I said originally, if I had known this was coming out, fairly soon I probably wouldn't have bought this one although I still love the look in the feel of that berry colored ebonite I do I love the feel of a good ebonite pen in my hand I, I like this pen I like how it fits in the hand I love the way it looks the color to me was spectacular the the grain of that ebonite is just stellar looking I think and this was the prettiest one I thought of the bunch of ebonites that they had. I'm usually a sucker for like a good black ebonite. When I saw the berry, I said, "No, that's gonna, gonna must have for me." And then when I saw that this was coming out, or was out at the time, I wasn't giving really any advance warning. And I went ahead and bit the bullet on it, and I just bought another one because I want to support my friends, um, and I wanted to uh, support uh, the guys over at Navaler Narwhal, and uh, you know help them as well and keep their relationship going with gold spot but uh more than anything else to help my friend elise and uh, to make sure that uh, they continue to do some good business uh, with the folks over at navaler slash narwhal <laughs> all right so there you go look beautiful pen i will i love the innovation of the little port windows I like the look. I love the cigar shape of the pen. Really, really happy with how I've written with these for the past uh, while. This one obviously is fairly new. I just got this one within the last uh, last week, uh, last several days, as a matter of fact. I think the beginning of this week. Um, and this one I've had uh, for about six weeks, five or six weeks. So been very, very happy. Holds a good amount of ink, by the way. I have not run out of that KWZ uh, grapefruit. And I've been thinking about flushing it out and putting in a different ink, uh, but, you know, I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> so it's like, man, I kind of like that KWZ grapefruit. You know? Oh, yeah, by the way, and you look at the top of the finial, you do see, like, you've got that uh, that gold-colored disc, and here they've got that, that uh, black dome there as well. So those are little metal domes, you know, metal clips, nice trim rings. There you go. They're definitely worth the effort, guys, and worth and worth the price, and uh, really happy. And I'm I'm looking forward to see where Narwhal Naveler go go where they go from here. You know, the guys are, are innovating. Um, they are working together. They're working hard behind the scenes, and I think they're doing a really decent job. Um, I just wish they would have stuck with the name Narwhal instead of Naveler, but that's just a personal thing. Um, I understand it was a business decision and there were some reasons for it, but there you go. Great pen to add to your collection, guys. And uh, and keep a lookout for Narwhal and their future, and keep a lookout for Starry Night Resins uh, and uh, where they go uh, in some of their business that's uh, up and coming. I think you're going to be impressed with, with both.